Galveston is 37 miles all the way around. At its widest point, it's four miles. But we're beautiful, you know, I mean, sunshine, you know, palm trees, bikinis, <laughs> you know, I mean, what, 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 what could be better than living on an island We are the piece of land that actually stops a hurricane from being massive at the oil refineries just on the other side of Galveston Bay. So we are a necessary evil. Where is this hurricane now and where is it going to strike the hardest? Persons not heeding evacuation orders in single family or two story homes will face certain death. We could see the highest surge where we are right here on Galveston. This storm is so big, in fact, that its impact is already being felt all along the Gulf Coast from Louisiana into Texas, including flooding, storm surge, and high winds. It's going to do some substantial damage. The legendary Balinese room was destroyed, flagship. We lost, we lost a lot of history. It, it was unsafe, it was inhabitable. Kids crying, people without shoes. They were just going from house to house to seeing if people were alive, if people were dead. There were people died here. You know, people died here. They found people in their houses dead, from, I guess, from drowning. You know, uh, if we would have stayed down here, we would have been dead. Pre-Ike, you actually wouldn't have known that Galveston had a racial problem. After Ike, all of public public housing was torn down. The racial part of Galveston has been put back in the closet. You know, whatever land mass is here, um, they're creating residence on it, not industry. Now that they've begun to rebuild the public housing in Galveston, um, that element has not had a chance to be reborn. I was six years old when we lived here and it was public housing. And we lived in a unit right up in this area right here. Totally different than what these are. Now, um, I also heard that some of these places could run like seven or $800 a month. Yeah. And, uh, if you didn't make a, a, a certain amount, then you uh, wouldn't qualify to, to live here. I think uh, deep down inside, I think they're deterring people from returning. I honestly do. They're deterring people from, from coming back because, and then they're taking the time. Does that have a, a racial element to it? Uh, at times I think it does. A lot of times I don't think, you know, I, I don't think on racial terms like that. I think I kept them out, big time. I kept them out. Why is that? There's nothing here now. It's quiet. The main industry here in Galveston is tourism. Almost from one end to the other, it's, it's towered with uh, hotels, uh, with restaurants with uh, the Pleasure Pier that Tillman Fatita created. Um, just nothing but activities to have people who live inland to come and enjoy. Uh, I've had people that say that, uh, no, I'm not going back to Galveston. I don't want to go back to Galveston. People started new lives elsewhere. They got comfortable else elsewhere. They don't want to come back to Galveston.
I hope I don't live long enough to see it go away. Uh, Galveston's a beautiful place to live. It's a beautiful place to raise a family. Uh, I think it's still a place where you tell your kid, get off of this island. It's a lot more than this out there for you to see. Because we're 37 miles all the way around, no place for growth. With his back against the San Francisco traffic On the bridge inside the faces towards the jail Setting out to join a demographic 